Hello, it's Sarah. And I'm back to do some more floating. I know the other one cut off, and I did put a little extra on there, and I wasn't in frame. Um, but I had finished pretty much what I wanted to show you on the mermaid, and I want to go over to this daisy for a minute and do a little bit on that. I wanted to show you these wings. We had put a wash of color on there, and it's real faint. Maybe yours is darker. My first one was definitely darker. Um, but we're not done yet with these wings. So what we're going to do is we're going to float. And we're going to do that with white on the wings. The first thing I want to do is we're going to load the brush. Come over to the palette and work that in. Load the brush with color. And then to kind of define the wings, you're going to just float some color on the edge of the on the outer edge, I should say, of both the wings. However many wings the little bee has, um, whichever one you're doing. So um, that then makes them more defined. And we're going to shade in the um, on the inside of the bee on, up against his body in a minute. But let's just get this white on here. I'm going back into my water blot, pick up some paint work it into my brush and we're going to define these wings again just on the outer edges I'm sliding my brush around and that's kind of faint compared to the other one I think I'm going to put a little more color on my brush and there we go I can see that now slide it around do the same thing on the bottom one and just define that outer edge of the of the wing I'm so sorry about I I feel like crap to be honest with you but I really want to get these videos loaded um, I have I have to convert them um, first because there's so many I've been converting the 10 minute ones into at least 30 minutes so putting three together it's just, uh, I don't know, it makes more sense than having six videos up instead of two. So I'm slipping this around. And as I get them um, converted, I'm loading them, so it's taken a minute. And that looks better. I mean, that definitely wasn't as dark as the other ones. And while that's drying, I'm gonna um, we're gonna do some more. We're just gonna continue floating. That's all I'm gonna do. But I wanted to show you the daisy in case that's the piece you had. The daisy I did white, so I'm just gonna shade that with gray. I'm just gonna put a little gray on my palette and load my brush up and get some shading. I'm gonna go back to my bigger one. Maybe I won't have to load it as often. I can move through this a little quicker. Um, I'm kind of off shot there but yeah the last video I moved her into the light and I never moved the, the camera back so I had a lot like a lot of time with no nothing in the shot but the light I'm gonna use my mop wherever I threw it I don't know I'll use my big one because you know you can never have one of anything of course if there's a little one you have to get the big one too so but that just adds a little um, depth up against the the petal, the flower center. So I'm just putting all my um, bristles down on the piece and sliding that around. And because it's a flower petal, you can be a little more choppy, and it actually adds character. You know, <laughs> I'm that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But um, yeah. You know, certain things, it's okay if it has a little more, uh, if it's not as smooth or something, you know. Because things in nature aren't always smooth, that's for sure. So, there was a lot of water on that, but I just softened it up. Going, getting a little more paint. I haven't gone back for water, though, because this brush, it's my brush that I love. I'm going to go up against his little wing. Just smooth it around. Going around this tripod is a little tricky too. It's just, um, 
I can't really see it the way it's like I see a shine almost or something but I'm just going right back to my uh, dry palette and scooping up some more of that paint just put it on this one go right up against the then I'll continue over here since I have a lot of paint on my brush <laughs> just tap it tap that water and it's almost making the petals look dirty but uh, we're gonna let's see what else do, am I gonna do to these we're gonna put the little veins in it and I'm gonna shade at the tops and leave the white tips and that'll make it pop a little better so what do we have left I have this little part between the wings there just darken that up okay we'll let that dry and maybe we can go back to our bees I'm gonna get um, you know what do we want any more white let's see it might have been nice to have a little white on the front side I'm just gonna do it and you know you're not hopefully you're taking a minute to watch these before you attempt to do it and that way you'll have an idea what I'm going for before you know and you're not doing it along with me because I'm kind of picking and choosing what I'm doing because I I mean I did do one before I can't you know use that as an excuse but I'm kind of playing as I go along is what I'm trying to say so I kind of just defined the two wings there but I'm gonna do that too with the shading but I just didn't know and once we put the stickles on probably none of this will even matter but you know sometimes I just get caught up in the moment of you know what I'm doing and that didn't even show up really all right let's go to you know what we could do we could do our flower center I figure I'll just make this hopefully well we're at seven minutes so this is definitely going to be at least two videos I'm just going to quickly and then the last video is going to be details like getting all the the line work and the faces on and the um, all the little details that kind of bring it together and then um, it'll be a wrap it will be a wrap after that so I'm getting all that dark brown paint and I'm gonna put all my bristles on the piece on the touching the paint touching the wood slide it around and down the side of this flower center should we put a face on this guy maybe we should put a face on this guy <laughs> since I didn't put a face on my other one but I, th I figured I thought it might be too many faces with the two bees and the flower I don't know <laughs> but that's starting to look good you know what we also need to shade our our leaves the leaves at the bottom of the um, piece need a little bit so I'm just going to grab a little dark green and shade those I'm going to go let's see what did I do on the other one I think this needs to be if I go dark here, dark, dark, I think I'm going to go do this one different than I did the other one. Put the dark on the bottom. I think I highlighted the bottom on the other one. I'm just going to see which looks better. And it could just be like, you know, it's a different light source. The light's coming from a different way or something. So we're going to play and see what it looks like. I don't mind. I think it's going to look fine. Either way. If the light source police come, you know, I'll just, I won't snitch. I won't tell them what we did. That was silly. I don't know what that means. All right. So I just keep loading in the dark green and I'm going to put a little here where the stem kind of connects to the leaves. And I'm going to put a little actually a lot I'm gonna put a little bit at the top all right and then there's gonna be a um, vein going through the middle and that I'll wait and I'll come back and do that in a sec let's go back to our flower petals real quick because the gray is right here and I can just 
go ahead and load that onto my brush. Okay, I'm coming back with some more gray and we're gonna accent the tops of the petals of those flower petals now. So I'm loading my brush. I have a lot of water there. I'm gonna blot, come back in and add some color to the top of the leaf this way. I don't know why, I just thought it would add a little something to it. Get it off there. Just going back to my palette and picking up the color that I left there on my runway, that I call it, and swooping some paint up on that upper level of the leaf of the petal. I'm, I'm babbling now. I should play music. The next thing I have to do is learn how to speed this up. How everybody does that. You could just speed it up and put music with it. That's That would be good for this type of a video. Absolutely. Um, we'll see. We'll get there. My husband helps me a lot with that technological stuff. He's very good at it. Um, but I've been doing all this on my own, so I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, good. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna, um, I don't know why, I just don't like that right there. It looked a little dark. And we can go back in to the brown again, and I'm gonna do the other side of the center. I'm loading my brush. I'm getting a pretty lot of paint this time, because I want it to kind of, uh, come out a little further than just around the edge. I want it to be, because this should be like a dome shape. And so in order to get it to look like a dome, you have to kind of make it light in the middle and then gradually get darker. That's the idea. Anyway, let's get our bees. Let's do some bees here. I'm going to do the light brown for the bees bodies. I have to get my palette knife. Oh shoot, here I go again, knocking the... I'm so sorry guys. You're very patient with me. This this is a... This has been a tough <laughs> couple of days here for these videos. Oh, I have plenty of the light brown out. Duh. Okay, let's do some bee bodies. I'm going to load with the light brown. And take this right down um, on the one. We're just going to go completely along the bottom here. This is going to be like his little, right down here, underneath his body. And there we go. It's very dark, but we're going to put stripes on him. And the little face, he's going to look gorgeous. And then on this bay, because he's kind of facing forward, I put the color here under his chin and kind of pulled it down. And I did the top of his head. So I don't want to touch my other area that I just did. So that's that. The bees are coming to life. We also want to put a little bit of this color on the... And actually, I don't know. I kind of want to use the dark flesh this time. I have a little bit of dark flesh on my palette. I know you probably don't. But I want to see what this looks like. I just want to um, shade the wings a little. You'll see what I'm going to do. So we're going to go right along this part down here, up against the body, and shade the wings a little bit. Ta-da! Am I have I been out of the shot? Oh my gosh! I hope not. That's embarrassing. And the same thing on these, just up against the body. Gonna take that flesh tone, the dark flesh, and just pull it down up against the body. Kind of push the color back. I, I think I brought it out a little too much. But it kind of gives a, a, it adds a little depth, I think. That's what they would say. <laughs> I am one for wanting to know why most times, too. I do like to know why when I do something. Um, but for painting, I ha I never really asked why as much as once I got the techniques, I just went with it, I guess. Okay. 
looking around the tripod. And just pull it along. Get it off that edge a little. But now we're looking like, you know, and then I'm going to do, once that dries, I'm going to put a line to define the separation in the wings as well. All right, let's go back to our leaves at the bottom. I'm going to put the vein in with some dark green. And I'll try and highlight. I want to, I mean, I have five minutes left. I could do another video. I'll do one more. So it's been like half an hour, I guess. Two, three ten-minute videos is what I have to do. Um, so we're going to go, let's see, right here and create a vein in the leaf. Did I get it? I got it on here, so we're going to smudge it off there a little. <laughs> Do the same thing on the other side. And create that vein. Kind of making it arched a little bit so it comes down and take that off the lead, off the petal that I did. And now you have a vein. We can highlight on the opposite side of that in a minute. Um, let's go back and do one more shade around the. Um, Going to go up against the the B on that center and try to bring that brown out a little bit further. A lot of times they'll layer shading colors too. You go with your darker then your medium brown and then your um, latest. You can, boy they really layer it on there. But I wanted to make this a bit darker over here since this would be casting a shadow supposedly the B, the B would. So tap that water away and All right, I think we're getting we're getting there on this one. And then the next video maybe I'll just come back and we'll do the details. Because I think you get the gist of what we're doing here with the shading and the highlighting. I'm going to just go ahead back into my leaf. I hope it's dry enough. But I'm going to throw a little bit of just this light green mixed with a little bit of white and just um put a little bit of color underneath here. Try to highlight that area. I didn't load my brush correctly as, as I did, you know, but it's fine. I got a little color there and kind of highlighted it. I can see it. And there should be shading on the other side of the leaf too, up against the petals. I'll do that and then it'll be time to go. And I'll come back and maybe we'll just, I'll do the detail and then um, we might be done. <laughs> I just need to put some color here and here and here and here. That looks good. I like that. Um <clears throat> gonna just define that uh those wings and then we'll be done. 839 so right here I'm just going to bring this up a tiny bit and wipe it away and then underneath here and here so that kind of defines them a little better all right I'm going to put the face on put the faces on these and then we'll come back and we'll do the details on um actually on both the pieces. I have to shade the starfish on her, but I'll do that off camera and I'll come back and I'll do the details. All right, guys, thanks for watching.